Welcome to Roots and Peaks. Today, I'm gonna unbox a pretty cool piece of gear that's been around for a long time, but I'm gonna be using it for hiking, and it's really designed for skiing and snowboarding, or winter sports. So, I'm gonna be using it for winter hiking. Look, it's a box. And now I'm gonna cut it open. Woo! Good thing this knife is sharp. Am I right? I bet you wish that you could see what I'm doing because it's down here and I don't have a second camera. Boy, that's pretty boring. Before I go any further, you may have noticed, hold your breath in case you haven't, I wear glasses. And glasses can be very problematic in the winter, especially when you're doing activities outside. So what I've purchased here is a combination of something to protect my face and my eyes, but also something that still allows me to see. So these are some special ski goggles or snowboarding goggles paired with prescription glasses or glass inserts. I purchased these through Sports RX, and the first thing that I noticed in the box is this little card. It's a thank you card, which is really great. And on the back, there's a code to give me 50% off another prescription, which is super nice. I'm sure there's lots of important information in there, but um, it's not what the main show's about. Let's take a look. These are goggles by Anon. They're the M4. They're very popular goggles, um, a bit on the expensive side, but there's some reasons for that. And Anon is also a sub company of Burton for those that don't know. So they have their, they have quite a history in snowboarding, obviously. Let's take a look. The goggles themselves are nicely wrapped. I'm assuming that Sports RX opened these up and then did what they needed to to fit the goggle inserts and then put it all back together. So good on them. Um, let's take a look at these particular ones. I'll write down the colorways on there for, for people who are interested. First of all, we'll get back to these in a second. One of the things that these goggles are known for is they have a system that is magnetic by the nose. And this is one of the main reasons that I bought this particular pair of goggles. So they have this great buff. The buff, the section of the buff, the nose section right here, the bridge, is actually a magnet. So it goes on here, and then it sticks to the goggles, which is pretty great. And then you just put this whole thing down so you can protect your whole face. It's also got a really nice um, breath mesh here. So this is uh, almost open, but in the back, it, you can kind of open it or close it as you need to, which is really nice. Um, I don't think I've ever seen someone explain this. So there you go. There's a, it's a exclusive world first, only coming about six years too late since these have been around forever. Okay. So all the tags, everything's still on, even though this is through a secondary company, through Sports RX. But um, they've either put all of this back on, which I think they did, um, or it they never took it off. But as you can see inside of the goggles, hopefully you can see that, there are glass inserts. And those glass inserts are my prescription. So... In theory, when I put these on, I should be able to see just like I had my glasses on. Now, with the Anon M4 at least, this whole piece, the front piece, is a big magnet. So here is another view of my glass inserts. So if I didn't need the face protection and I still wanted to just wear those and not bring a second pair of glasses on a hike or skiing, because I do that too, than I could. Um, here is the big glass piece that goes on the front. Again, magnets all over that stick to this set of goggles. 
let's see what happens when I put them on. Okay, cool. So I may look ridiculous, but I can see you. I can actually see you slightly better than with my other glasses, which is a bit concerning. Um, now let's see, maybe I'll look a little less dumb. No, still dumb, because I don't have a, a helmet or a hat on. Now let's see what happens if I put these on. I think it just goes like that. You know, it would go, it would obviously go around. This is awesome. I'm going to love this during winter hiking because one of the things that's always happened to me is I either choose to get fogged up and have goggles on to protect my face or I more often than not just go without goggles and sort of wrap a buff as closely around my, my glasses as I can. That's not a great thing to do, especially if you're up in the White Mountains or in in a really cold environment. Um, so this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to get them out and test them and you'll have to stay tuned for that. But if like me, you are visually challenged and you like hiking in the winter, skiing, snowboarding, getting outside and exercising in the winter, maybe sledding, going tubing, I would love for you to tell us what you do to keep your vision clear or maybe you just don't even bother. Maybe you take your glasses off. What do you do? I'd love to know. I think the viewers would love to know too. So I haven't had a chance to use these at all. Um, this is a, not a review. But I'm going to go ahead and give them an A plus for unboxing. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Do you like unboxing videos? Want to see more of these? I uh, have a gear problem. And I like it. I like to test it. Um, I probably, like you, if you're watching this, like to watch YouTube videos about it and see different perspectives. Is that something you're interested in? Let me know. And until next time, try to look cooler in front of your friends. Just kidding. Don't do that. That's silly. Nobody needs to look cooler. Who cares? Yeah, maybe I have a gap in between my helmet and my goggles. What are you going to do about it? If I went to the grocery store to pick up some bread like this, it'd be totally okay, right?